Hello there, how are you? I'm so glad you stopped by. Today it's all about this smoky eye look. I can't wait to get started. If you're new here, I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50 where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman. I hope you'll consider subscribing while you're here and make sure you click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I'm so excited about putting together today's look. I haven't done a smoky eye in a long time and I think the look is just so yummy. But it gets even better. Better. Today we're continuing on with my holiday filled with friendship. This video is in collaboration with my friend Kathy at Kathy Over 50. And I'll have to tell you, I have a very special place in my heart for Kathy because I've known her just about since I started my channel. We've really kind of grown up on YouTube together. If you're not familiar with Kathy, you're just going to love finding out about her. Her channel is so informative and so helpful. One thing that Kathy really excels at is tutorials for more mature skin. She does everything from how to put on your concealer to how to make your foundation work better to how to work with hooded lids. She is really such a wealth of information and has really done a deep dive into the things that matter to us over 50 women. Kathy's going to be joining me in this smoky eye look today. I'm really excited to see her video because you know, we all do our makeup differently, so I'm sure that there's some tips and tricks I'm going to be able to learn from her. Kathy's video will be listed down below. Make sure that you stop by there, see the fabulous look that she puts together, like the video, and subscribe. You're going to love having Kathy in your life. I have lots of new makeup products to try in this video. I'm really excited about them. I have a new palette from Perfusion, a glow kit from Anastasia of Beverly Hills, a new color in the baked blushes from Milani. I think I probably have almost all the colors in this baked blush line. They're so very good. I'll be trying a new lash primer and a new mascara today. The primer is from Lancome and the mascara is from Clinique. And I have a new lipstick from the Milani Matte line. This has been so popular. They're sold out everywhere, but I got lucky and found this one in my local store. As always, all products that I use and mention today will be listed and linked below, so super easy for you to find. And with that, Let's hop into it. Today on my lips, I'm going to be using the City Lips Plum Springs Plumping Lip Gloss. I've fallen in love with this color. It's kind of a chocolatey, mauve shiny. It's so very pretty. I always like to put on one of their plumping lip glosses while I do my makeup because my lips are a little bit fluffier at the end of my makeup. The lines are softer. They just look better when they're more hydrated and plumped up. Before we hop into the makeup, I want to talk about a few products that I used getting ready for the makeup. I picked up the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Cream Hydrating Moisturizer. That's a long name. In the Sephora sale and I've been testing it for the last couple of days. What I can say is that it really is a beautiful formula. You can see it right here. It's a thicker cream. I like it very much. It feels wonderful on the skin. I'm still not convinced of the price point. <laughs> I'm going to continue to use it. I'll keep you posted. Another thing I want to talk about is what I put on my neck and chest area to make it look hydrated and kind of shiny and shimmery. So many of you have asked me about this. I have found this magical little duo that really works for me. This is the Nivea Body Lotion Essentially Enriched 48 Hour Nourishing Moisture. This is by far my favorite body lotion. I haven't found anything else that is as hydrating, and luxurious and puts just a beautiful glow on my skin, feels so good. I buy this stuff almost by the case. I always have backups, that's how much I love this. So the Nivea is on my chest. What I put on top of that to just add to the glow is this Capari Coconut Spritz Mist Hydrating Body Scent. I have fallen in love with this product. It puts the most delicious finishing glow on the skin and it smells so doggone good. Here, I'll just put a little bit extra on. So I just spray that on my chest area and rub it in, and anything left I just put onto the backs of my hands. This has one of those scents that's kind of a combination between vanilla and baby powder and other yummy things. It's very light, very fresh. I can smell it, which is rare because I don't have a very good sense of smell. I really love this mist. It's become a staple in my beauty routine. I'm just gonna put a little bit of powder on my brow. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I have had this compact for a couple of years. It's looking pretty tatty by now, but it still works beautifully. The reason I'm putting this in my eyebrows 
is because I get a lot of skincare product in my eyebrows when I'm doing my skincare. This just helps soak up some of those oils so that my brow product will go on easier. I'm still on the Catrice Prime and Find Fresh It Up Primer Train. This is just a beautiful hydrating primer. Feels so good on the skin. So I got my hair did yesterday. <laughs> I think I kind of have the poodle syndrome. You know how poodles always feel so sassy when they come from the groomer. I think I'm experiencing that. Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. Just a tiny bit on one finger, and then that goes all over both lids. If you have lid discoloration or veining like I do, <laughs> this is such a good primer for covering all that up. The only challenge that I can say that I have with this primer is it's so very opaque and thick. You really have to be careful not to get too much on your lids. Here, let's bring you in a little bit closer. <laughs> I always feel like there's just a whole lot of me on the screen when I do that. Still loving the Revlon Colorstay Brow Creator. This is in the color blonde. I really like this little dabber with the powder on it. It just quickly fills in those areas that need a little bit more color. So handy. For eyeshadow today, I'm gonna to work with this little palette from Perfusion. I was actually shopping in my local Walmart and I drifted into the makeup department and saw this. If you haven't used the Perfusion formulas, I can tell you they're so very good for a drugstore price point, and I mean a really low drugstore price point, they have a wide range of palettes. And when I saw this particular palette, I thought it was so very cute. Look at how the little bow is right here and the tweed patterning. I think this would be a really fun Christmas gift if you have a makeup lover on your list. So it has a little magnetic closure here and then you open it up, big mirror, and then you have a 20 pan eyeshadow palette. Color selection in this palette is so pretty. Of course, we have the neutrals and the mobs. We have a little pop of sort of a brick color here, some beautiful shimmers, and I like the fact that it goes from very, very light to very, very dark, so you can create a wide range of looks. I have always been very satisfied with the Perfusion eyeshadows. They're not too chalky. They lay down nicely, not too much fallout. Of course, I haven't used this palette yet, so we'll see together how the formula works out. Here's a selection of the colors from the palette. I think this is a very beautiful colorway. It is warmer, but there are some neutral tones in here. Very, very versatile. I'm going to lay down a base color all over the lid from top to bottom just to create a good foundation for the darker colors that come next. I'm going to take a big fluffy brush, this is the Angie 503, and dip it in this color Famous, and that's going to go all over both lids from top to bottom. And I really am just laying down a foundation to help the other colors lay down more smoothly. This is a very light tan color with a peach undertone. Now I want to lay down a very subtle transition color, so I'm going to take a smaller brush, dip it in this color Non-Fat Latte, get a little bit on my brush, tap it off, and that's just going to go right above my natural crease very lightly. This color I'm going to go into is this color Vintage right here. I have my 202 brush from BK Beauty. I'm going to get a lot of product on my brush, tap that off, and I'm going to place that right on the outside corner of my eye because that's where I want the most product to be laid down. Once I have that pounced into the outside corner, then I'm just going to go ahead and start moving that color across the lid. And I'm going to work that right up into that transition area. Exactly the same thing on the other eye. Tap it off, place it right on the outside corner of my eye, pounce it in, and then start working it across the lid from there. What I can say about these shadows so far is they're so easy to work with. They're a little bit sheer, which is nice. No fallout, they're blending in just beautifully. So a very fun palette so far to work with. I wanna deepen that eye look up now, so I'm gonna go into the deepest color in the palette. This is VIP. I'm gonna take that same 202 brush, Get some on my bristles, mostly on the tip. Load that up, tap it off, and then that's gonna get placed again right on the outside corner of my eye, worked around, and then over across the lid. What I have found for me with a smoky eye look, 
particularly because my lids are more mature, is layering the colors seems to work best. So a lighter transition color, a little bit darker shade all over the lid and up into that transition color, and then ending up with a deeper, richer shade. So that creates a nice, beautiful transition that makes it look, I think, a little bit more appropriate for my more mature lids. Load the brush up for the other eye, tap it off, place it right in that outside corner and start working it in and then moving it across the lid. Now I'm going to go back in with that big fluffy 503 brush and just work on those edges and really blend it out so it's a very, very smooth transition. Now I'm going to prep my under eyes with my Beauty Pie Under Eye Genius. I think this stuff is so good. It really has transformed how I work with my concealer. My concealer seems to lay down so much nicer, stays all day, doesn't crease. I don't set my concealer now anymore, and I'm pretty sure it's because of this product. I'm in the color light medium in the under eye genius. For foundation today, I'm gonna to use my fancy makeup foundation. <laughs> That's what I think of when I think of this foundation. This is the Dior Forever Skin Glow. I love this. This is my dress up foundation. Here are the things that I like so much about this foundation. First of all, it looks beautiful on the skin. It is just the slightest glowy, moisturized look. So very pretty. I'm in the color 1N, great color match for me. Putting it on is so easy. I have never had it get fussy on me. No polka dot pores, blends in beautifully, never looks patchy, lasts all day. Just can't say enough nice things about this foundation. So I'm going to start with just about a pump and a half on the back of my hand and start dotting that over. You know, I'll have to say I'm so surprised at how easy those shadows were to work with. They just went on beautifully. I am using a Beauty Blender sponge. I got this in one of those little gift sets from Sephora. I have never used the actual Beauty Blender before and I'm testing it to see how I like it. My favorite sponge for over a year now is the Sigma sponge. I love this thing. Everything from that very pointy little tip to the way this sponge feels in my hand, I love everything about this. But since I've been using this for over a year, I thought I should try another sponge. So far, I like this sponge. I can't say that I like it more than my Sigma sponge. It is very soft and bouncy. I think what I might miss is that really, really pointy tip. This has a pointy tip clearly, but it's not like the Sigma sponge. So I will check back in with you in a couple of weeks and let you know my thoughts on the Beauty Blender. This foundation just never fails to look glorious. <laughs> it's so pretty. I can say this is one high-end makeup product absolutely worth the investment. For concealer today, I'm using the Lancome Tint E Doll. I'm in the color 10 or 110. I'm not sure which one is the right one. They're both on the back of the packaging. Fairly large doe foot applicator. Just a little bit under each eye. I always start with the BK Beauty 205 brush and just spread that out underneath my eye and down onto the side of my nose a little bit. And then take my sponge and blend that in. Today I'm going to contour and do bronzer. This is the Fenty Beauty Contour in the color Amber. Love this. So I'm just going to put a little bit in the areas that I want to create some definition. And then down along my chin line. And I always take my sponge and just press that in, really focusing on the edges so that it blends in well with my complexion. I want the bronzer to be a little bit more subtle today. I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Lumi Bronzer. You can see how much I love this. This is just such a beautiful color. It's subtle and yet it does create that deep, richer glow on your skin. You can see what that pass right there just did. So pretty. 
little bit over the nose. The blush today is Sunset Passion from the Milani Baked Blush line. I have probably <laughs> six or seven of these baked blushes now. Every color is beautiful. It really is such a great line of blushes. I did not have this color in my collection and I saw it in my local store and I went ahead and grabbed it because it's been sold out online for a while so I went ahead and picked it up. Haven't used this yet. We'll see how it goes today. Get a little bit on my brush, tap it off, and I just want to go very gentle with this. Because the eyes are the focus of today's look, it's my goal to make the rest of the face just a beautiful canvas to really let the eyes pop. So just a soft application of this. Gosh, that color is so pretty. Whew. Every time I use one of these blushes, I think that color is so pretty. They're all so very pretty. I have yet to pick up one of these baked blushes that I thought, you know what, this one's a dud. <laughs> it just hasn't happened. I'm gonna work that up high on my cheeks because I wanna pull the focus up. Now I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush and just blend that in. Gosh, that is so pretty. Just love that. For highlight today, it's an Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. This is in the colorway Sugar, and I'll tell you what, I ordered this online. I hadn't seen them really in stores. I was stunned when it came in. Look at how huge that is. That is just a ton of product in this palette. We have four colors here, and most of them are fairly light and fairly soft. So this is Marshmallow, this is Gumdrop, this is Butterscotch, and this is stardust let's go ahead and see what those look like it's a beautiful range from a very very icy color here we have a soft white gold into a pink and then a more yellowy gold beautiful colorway in this palette i think these are actually a really great value i can see the dual chrome shift in this pink right here i'm not sure if you can or not really really pretty lots of product in this palette i think all the colors are super wearable i'm going to dip right into this color stardust right here it seems to be the most icy of them and i want to keep it fairly neutral in the color and just really go for the glow i'll tell you what that's a really powerful highlighter Take a big fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend that in. Melt it into the skin and now it's just a beautiful glow. I think it's really pretty. Put just a little bit right underneath my brows. I'm going to finish off the complexion with the Milani Prep Set and Glow. No surprise to any of you, I'm sure. Just pounce that all over the skin. I'm going to take a big fluffy brush and go back into the eyeshadow. And what I'm really focusing on is blending out all the edges so that it looks very, very smooth as it goes from the eyelid on up. With a smoky eye look, I like to put on eyeliner to ground that color into the lashes. This is the L'Oreal Lay Liner. This is the liner I use all the time. This is Noir Cashmere, which is their black. It's not actually a black black. It's more like a really, really deep charcoal. So I'm just gonna run that right along the lash line. And before that has a chance to dry down, I'm gonna take a tiny little angled brush and just smudge out that line so it looks smoother on my a little bit crepey lids. I always like to curl my lashes before I tight line. This is the Refer Eyelash Curler. It's my new boyfriend. <laughs> I swear I love this thing. And not only does it feel so comfortable when I'm using it, it curls my lashes so well. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> I love this thing. Now I'm going to take that same liner pen and tight line underneath my lashes. And the goal with this is not to get it on the skin necessarily, but to get it in between every single one of those lashes to really deepen that line. I have a new lash primer today to try. This is the Lancome Seals Booster XL. I'm not sure you pronounce it Seals. 
It's C-I-L-S. Excited about this. I've heard so much about this formula. So it comes in just a standard mascara wand. I think it's regular bristles, but I'm not sure, to be honest. So I'm just going to put a coat of this on the lashes. So far, this is going on very similar to my L'Oreal Lash Primer. For mascara, I'm using the Clinique High Impact Mascara. This is in the color black. Heard a lot about this mascara. Standard one. Again, it looks like just regular bristles. This is going on very smoothly. Seems to be lengthening a little bit. So here we have one coat of a Clinique against the other eye with no mascara on it. Here's two coats with the Clinique mascara. I'm going to go back into the glow kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills and take a tiny little brush and dip it into that same highlighter we used on the cheeks. And that's going to go just right inside the corner of my eye, just around that inside area and in front of that tear duct, just to brighten that area up a little bit. Now that I have my complexion all done, I usually go back in with my brow pencil and just work on those outside edges and pull out the tips a little bit. Just setting the brows. This is the Sigma Tint and Tame Brow Gel. For lips today, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Color Sensation. This is in the color Totally Toffee and the Milani Nude in the color Pleasure. This is Totally Toffee right here, the liner, and this is the lip color in Pleasure. I don't know if you guys do this. I find that when I line my lips, I always start in the same place. Some people start in the bottom, some people start on the top. I always start on this side on the top. I don't know why. Habit, I guess. I'm just going to smudge that out a little bit. I don't want to bring it down all over the whole lip because I want to keep the lightness of the lipstick. Here we have the lipstick. And here we have the finished look. With you, I absolutely love this smoky eye look. You know, initially a few years ago, I might not have thought that it would be appropriate for my more mature skin, but I'm really loving the look today. This little perfusion palette is so very good. And you know what? I don't know the name of it because there's nothing on it that says the name of this palette, but you can tell it by this cute little packaging right here and this little bow. It's so sweet. The colorway in this palette is gorgeous. The shadows were wonderful to work with, truly. No fallout, blended in beautifully, not patchy, lovely, lovely shadows. Gosh, you guys, I think this palette is under $10. If it's not, it's right around there. A great value for a very complete palette. All the tones from dark to light, really a great offering from Perfusion. The Milani Baked Blush in the color Sunset Passion. Is that the color or is it Passion Sunset? <laughs> oh, it's Sunset Passion. Absolutely love this, but I love the whole line. I haven't come across a stinker in this whole line of baked blushes. Beautiful look on the face today. More of a neutral rosy tone with a little bit of shift to it. Really enjoying this new color. I'll have to tell you when this Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit came in, I was really stunned. I thought it was going to be tiny. It is huge and there is so much product in this palette. The color that I used on the face today is this Stardust and you can see the glow right here melts into the skin, no visible product other than that just beautiful glow. Really, really a fan of this. I think it's a great value. You get so much in it, quality product, beautiful colors, loving this one. The eyelash combination today of the Lancome Booster, this is the mascara primer, and the Clinique High Impact Mascara. Naturally, I would compare it to what I've been using lately, which is the L'Oreal Lash Primer, and the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. The lash primer works very similar to the L'Oreal. However, this formula might be a little bit thinner and goes on a little bit more elegantly than the L'Oreal. Although I can say I love the look of the L'Oreal primer. 
I'll keep working with this and I'll probably have a really definitive opinion about it in a few weeks. The Clinique High Impact Mascara, easy to work with. It does lengthen for me, not so much volumizing. It does create a softer, more fluttery lash than the Maybelline Sky High. I'm enjoying both of these. It's just a different look for my lashes. The Pleasure Lipstick from Milani. Milani came out with a whole line of mattes, and I think there's six or seven in the line. I think someone posted it on TikTok and the whole line went viral. They sold out immediately. They're still selling out on a lot of sites, so they're harder to get right now. I did find this one in my local Walmart. I just went ahead and grabbed it because I know how difficult they are to find these days. I do like the formula. I can't say it feels as hydrating as my Huda or my Charlotte Tilbury mattes. Although it is comfortable, it's not drying, it doesn't feel like a dusty, dry matte lipstick on my lips. I do like this color very much, particularly when I want to put emphasis on the eyes. This gives just a natural, beautiful tone to the lips. This was a lot of fun to put together this smoky eye look. And you know what, you guys? It can be done for us more mature women. Make sure that you jump on over to my sweet friend Kathy's channel and watch her smoky eye video. I'm really curious to see how she puts it together. I'm sure I'm going to learn a lot from her. That video will be listed in the description box down below. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I hope you found this fun and useful. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I get so tickled when you take a few minutes out of your day to spend it with me. I appreciate that and I appreciate you. Again, I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50 where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman. Make it a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.